Hi, this is Christina Hills from WebsiteCreationWorkshop.com and this is your WordPress attack. All right, what I'm going to talk about is updating WordPress. And I've talked about updating WordPress before, but what I want to give you is a little checklist of the things that you need to go through before you update your WordPress website. And I'm talking about the self-hosted version of WordPress from WordPress.org. That's where you've got it on your own servers. All right, so the first thing I do when I notice it's time to update WordPress is I contact my theme company if I'm using a premium theme. And it usually takes them a couple of days once it's released to, get, to make sure that their theme will work with the new version. So I wait a couple of days, contact them. If they give me the thumbs up, then I go ahead and I update WordPress. But before I do that, you don't want to forget this, I back up my site. And the plugin that I like is Backup Buddy. It's very easy to use. It backs up the whole thing and you don't have to worry about it at all. Okay, so contact the theme company, back up with Backup Buddy, then I update my WordPress software and I just log into WordPress and click the little button and do the automatic update. After that, then I go look at my plugins and I see which plugin has updated to the current version of WordPress. And if they have, I update my plugins. After that, I look at my site from the outside as everyone else would see it. And then I log in and I look inside in the admin, just see what's changed, what's new with WordPress. Doesn't take long, easy to do, and it keeps your WordPress website up to date. This is Christina Hills with your WordPress attack.